Hi guys, my name is Megan from the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I am doing a Berkey water fill unboxing and setup. We finally decided to get a Berkey water filter. I've been wanting to get one of these for ages. We finally took the plunge and got one. They're a little expensive but so worth it. We try to have a really healthy diet and a big part of that is having water that has all the toxins and all the bad stuff that they put in the water filtered out. I feel like if you're going to spend a lot of money on healthy food and all the stuff that you really got to have your water good as well. Especially for my ferments like sourdough and kombucha and kefir and fermented carrots and all the things that I like to ferment, which is a lot because I'm a little bit obsessed. You want to make sure you use good filtered water because it has chlorine or anything in it, it's going to negatively affect the ferment and that's not going to be good. Plus we are on city water and that's just a lot worse than well water that you have out in a rural area. We do eventually want to move out to a more, more rural place and have a lot more land and we can have our own well water and I'm so excited to do that someday but for now we are on city water. We have a little filter that we've been using up until now but it's really small, you have to fill it up every time you want to fill up our water glasses. It doesn't filter out as much of the stuff and so it's been working for now but I'm really excited to have this Berkey. I can probably just fill it up like once every day or two and we'll just have as much water as we need just sitting there ready to go. I hate having to sit there and wait for that little tiny filter to filter enough water for my cup of water. <laughs> it drives me crazy. And you guys know me, I'm not someone who really plans ahead for things so normally I don't remember to fill up the thing before I actually need to drink the water so then I have to sit there and wait for it to filter through and it just drives me crazy. Oh, okay. So we finally got it in the mail and I'm just so excited to show you guys. We got the Imperial Berkey filter. And now I'm gonna do the unboxing and show you guys how to set it up and everything. And it's the same for every size. The size doesn't really matter like how you set things up. But we decided that Imperial was gonna be best for our family. It's bigger than what we need like right now, but we are planning on having a lot more kids and we figured we might as well just get the bigger one now instead of having to spend like $300 now and then another $300 later. Might as well just start out with the one we want because they last like forever. There's like a lifetime warranty on this if you buy it new from Berkey water filters. So even though there's a lot of people ordering this right now just because of everything going on in the world, we got this actually really fast. They shipped it out the day after we ordered it and we got it in like two days or something ridiculous. I don't know. I was surprised with how fast the shipping was for something this big and just with how weird shipping has been lately. So let's cut this open. Okay, so packing material. This will be good because I use a lot of packing material for my online soap orders. We have a little instruction manual here. That's gonna be important. Our bill. And here it is. I am so excited. And there was a little packet with all the little primer supplies. And then here is the stainless steel water faucet. It would normally come with a black plastic one, but you can spend like an extra $20 to get the stainless steel one, which I really wanted to do. So we got this one. It's got all the little gaskets and, and stuff to attach it. Okay, let's open up this box. Okay, here is the lid. Here's the top part and the filters here and the bottom basin part. And then it has this rubber ring here that you put along the bottom and that just keeps it from sliding around on the table or the counter if you have kids come in and pull on it or something. So here's the instructions for priming the filter. It was just right right on top of the filter box. So let's just get, get this main part put together and then we'll prime the filters and screw the filters into this. So we're going to put this water spade on and it has this nut that you are just going to screw off. We're going to put this on the inside of the basin once we get it in there. And these have little blue plastic things over them that don't worry they're not going to be blue you just peel these off and they're good to go. You take one of these first and you slide it over your faucet like this and then you take one of the white rubber pieces and push it on. It's pretty tight but that's what we want. We don't want it to be so loose that it leaks all the time. Now that we have that on I'm just going to put it through the hole right here and then on the other side on the inside of this I'm going to put this on and then this other metal piece and then the nut to hold all of it on. And I'm gonna go get a tool to tighten that down really nicely so that it doesn't leak. Okay, here's all the packets with the stoppers for the holes in here that you're not gonna put filters in and also the handle for the lid. So I'm just going to put the, the lid handle together. So it has a tiny little screw and a washer and so you just put the washer on there, put it through the inside of the lid and then screw the, the handle on. 
know that's good to go. And that goes on top of this part. Here's the black spigot and all the little pieces that came with it. But since we have the stainless steel one, we don't really need this one. Okay, so here's the filters and they're really lightweight right now. And there's a lot of air in them. And so that's the reason that you would prime these. So it looks like from the instructions that there's two ways to prime the filters. Using this little tan ring is the main way that I've seen before. You would put the tan ring over this and then put it up under the faucet and hold it on so that the water's forced into it. And then there's also this little blue thing that you put over your faucet and then you put this through it and force the water through. I will do one filter one way and the other filter the other just so you guys can see how both ones work and see which one I like best. And you want to use cold water for this priming. So you just gradually increase the, pre the amount of water that you're putting in. You don't want it to be blasting out. We're just trying to force water into the filter and we want it to start seeping out of the sides. You want to see little beads of the water all over the outside of it and seeping through all over the whole thing. It takes about a whole minute to prime it completely. So this one's done. And now I'm going to do the other method for this one. So you put this up over your faucet. Hopefully you have the right faucet for this. Turn your water on. You want to make sure this part doesn't bubble up like, like that. See, you don't want that. Well, I tried the blue one in our bathroom too, and it just doesn't look like it's going to work with the kind of faucets we have. So I'm going to go back to the tan one. I seem to definitely like that one better. Those are both primed. They feel a lot heavier now and water has been able to come through all the surfaces. These are ready to go. Okay, so after you get the filters primed, you are going to put that black rubber washer over them and then you put them in, in the canister and screw it from the bottom. You wanna get it nice and tight, not too extremely tight, but just tight enough that water's not gonna leak out of the edges and the filters are gonna be able to stand upright in this. And then you're gonna take all those little white plugs that were set along with this and you're gonna plug all the other holes. You unscrew that end piece and take off one of the washers and then you put it into the holes and put the washer and screw that part back on from the other side. And that's just because you don't want unfiltered water going out of those holes. You want all the water that goes through to go through your filters. Okay, so now this part is all done and you just take this and set it on top of the other part of the water filter. And then I'm just gonna run some water through it. And when you get new filters, you want to run water through it a couple times, just because the filters might have a weird taste at first and you just wanna get it nice and flushed out. So I'm actually gonna fill this up like two or three times and just let all the water filter through and then throw it out and then fill it up again. And then about the second or third time, once the water's not tasting weird, I'm, I'll leave it in there and then we can drink that water. And then also, if you don't need to filter your water for like three days or more, if you have a Berkey filter that's really big for your family size or you went out of town or something and the water just sat in there for more than three days and you weren't filtering anything through the filters during that time, then you want to discard the water that's been sitting in there and then also run a batch through, throw that out, just get the filters going again. And that's my unboxing of the Imperial Berkey water filter system and how you set it up and get it going. I'm so excited about this and I'm gonna do another review video on this after we've been using it for a few months just to, so that you guys can know how we're liking it. But I am just unbelievably excited that we were finally able to get one of these. So let me know down in the comments if you have one, if you wanna get one, how you're liking it, and just all the things I'm excited to hear. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one, bye.